as mentioned in the previous video, Visual Basic is very helpful as an IDE. Um, it will help you auto-complete code, it'll give you prompts to fill in parameters for things, um, to really speed up the building of your applications. Um, but it also gives lots of help um, with any errors that might be in your code and also allows you to really um, look through your code and see what's happening when an application is being run to pick out any problems that you might have. An example of where Visual Basic will help, if I've got a misspelt variable, so my variable is called svalue, um, but I've spelt it here as salue, then um, when I run my Visual Basic project, and try to use the button that should execute the code then it comes up with an error message now when Visual Basic gives you error messages it really should be nothing to worry about nothing to panic about normally it's trying to give you some help and tell you what is wrong with your code so it's telling us there compile error variable not defined we have not defined a variable called salue and it's highlighted it for us even better so we can OK that we can go and uh, correct the spelling, checking what the spelling is there and then when we uh, now run the project it should run correctly. So that is debugging. So another way that Visual Basic uh, is really helpful when it comes to finding out problems with the code is something that's called breakpoints and stepping through. Now uh, they might not mean much to you at the moment but hopefully by the end of this video you'll know what they mean and be able to use them. Uh, a breakpoint, how do we apply a breakpoint to some code? Well you find the line of code that you want to apply the breakpoint to and you click in the grey area just to the left hand side of that line and what will happen is a red dot will appear and your code will be highlighted red on that line. Now when we run the application and we click on the button that should execute this code it turns yellow, that line turns yellow. Now why is that useful? Well, when we hover over uh, variables or we hover over the uh, properties of the controls it will tell us the values that's in there. So I didn't type anything into the text box so it's here it is telling me uh, during runtime that the value of the text box is blank that's why it says equals quotes quotes which means the value of the variable is blank s value equals quotes quotes and then I can press F8 on my keyboard and what that will do is it will step onto the next line so now that line of code is executed so it's going to show us um, in our message box blank so if we're wondering why it's returning blank we can actually step through the code to find out why and if F8 again now it ends that sub procedure and we have a blank message box as we might expect. If we just OK that and then press F5 on the keyboard to run fully. Let's put some values in this time. Uh, click on encode. When we run it this time you'll notice that S value is still blank. Now it will remain blank until we step onto the next value, until this line is executed, until we step onto the next line of code. We can see that the value of the text box is 1, 2, 3. So if I hit F8 on the keyboard now to move on to the next line, S value is now 1, 2, 3 because that line will now be ex have been executed. So we can see the message box is going to show us 1, 2, 3. And there it is. Um, so we can OK that and F5 it. We can also check out the values of things down here because sometimes when you hover over a value that you want to see might be so long that it might not appear on the screen uh, and you might want to use the values as well so you can actually do a question mark and um, type the name of the variable or thing that you want to check and it's telling us that it's blank at the moment but if I move down onto the next line and redo that one it tells me the value there I could even copy and paste it from here if I want so there's different ways of uh, stepping through your code and finding out what is happening in the code now, when you stop your application, you might have lots of breakpoints at different places. A way of getting rid of them all is debug and clear all breakpoints.